Pat the Plumber here, and in this video we're going to go through a complete walkthrough on how to unclog a toilet. The first thing to know is how to stop the water from overflowing the bowl once the toilet is clogged. Remove the lid from the toilet tank and push the flapper down and into the closed position. The flapper is what holds the water in the tank until it's ready to be flushed into the bowl. If you're unable to stop the bowl from filling, you can shut off the water supply to the toilet. Next is understanding the cause of the blockage and the best methods to unclog each. The most common cause of a clogged toilet is toilet paper and waste. It is best to use a plunger or toilet auger for these types of clogs. Objects such as toothbrushes, pens, and toys are best unclogged with a toilet auger as the hook on the end of the auger can sometimes retrieve these items. Cell phones and smaller bottles can be extremely difficult to retrieve and may require actually reaching into the toilet or removing the toilet and retrieving from the discharge side. It is very important that if you don't know the cause of the blockage to never reach your hand into the toilet. Round objects are also very difficult to retrieve. I will demonstrate a trick using a wet fact that has worked on a few occasions, but toilet removal is common with these types of blockages. Choosing the right tool is half the job. A common sink or cup plunger will give you the lowest success rate. Using a flange plunger will give better results as it has a stronger seal against the toilet opening. A toilet auger is the best option as it makes direct contact with the blockage. The downside is that it's also the most expensive. Depending on how high the water is in the bowl, you may have to remove some. This will reduce the amount of splashing or spilling onto the floor. Place the plunger into the bowl on an angle. This will fill the plunger with water and purge the air. Firmly place the plunger against the bottom toilet opening, creating a strong seal. Push the plunger straight down, followed by lifting straight up. Don't allow the plunger to lift away from the bottom opening. This is not a gentle motion and some force should be put into the down and up strokes. After multiple times, the blockage should be dislodged. Remember the four P's. Place, purge, pump, pull. Retract the auger fully and carefully place into the bottom of the toilet. Don't allow the metal retrieval end to come in contact with the exposed porcelain as it will easily scratch. Spin the handle clockwise while applying light pressure. The spiral retrieval hook is designed to grab onto objects in the clockwise direction. It may be required to spin the auger counterclockwise briefly to pass the toilet's integral trap. Once either the blockage is freed or grabbed onto, the auger can be reversed. The next technique can work on round objects that create a positive seal within the toilet. It requires removing all the solids and liquid from the bowl. Using a wet vac, wrap a garbage bag tightly around the hose end. Try to create a strong seal against the bottom of the toilet and turn on the vacuum. With any luck, the round object will become dislodged. The final method is widely promoted by do-it-yourselfers. Add dish soap and warm water to the bowl. Wait up to 15 minutes. The clog may clear up on its own or now will become easier to unclog with a plunger. This method only works on toilet paper and waste. As a plumber, I was very skeptical of this method, but after performing the same clog test as shown earlier, it did in fact work. I would still recommend the plunger method as toilets are not designed for warm water. Well guys, thanks for watching and hopefully this video helped you out of a crappy situation. If this video helped you out, liking, commenting, subscribing would be greatly appreciated. Till next time.